And tonight at 11 o'clock, the Southside neighborhood is now on edge after neighbors say a woman and a man have been following teens, even at one point approaching someone's home. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker spoke with neighbors there about their concerns and why now the neighborhood is on guard. It was supposed to be a quick walk home Friday night from a local park to Harvard Square Apartments. But what happened next seems strange to these two teens. A woman in a dark blue four-door car asked for their help. She was talking to us and she was like, she was just talking about how um, her dog had been out and she couldn't get it back in her car or back to her house. Eventually I, she got the dog in the car and then we walked away. And then we realized when we got to her court, <clears throat> that they had been following us. The teens say the woman parked at the bus stop nearby. Addison Maga went inside her home to tell her grandma. I went to go out and here come the woman. When she saw my van, she took off. And then there was a black SUV not far behind her. And I caught a, a glimpse of him. He was an older man, glasses, black and gray beard. Cindy Godsey thought that was the last of it until this past Monday afternoon. She says the same woman was back at the bus stop in the same car. She was sitting there. She had blonde hair and older, like they said, probably, I'd say mid-30s. When Gotzi tried to confront her. And the woman immediately took off. Not far behind was the same man from Friday night in the same black SUV. They took off. When Gotzi told her neighbor about it. He said he'd seen him eight to nine times up and down Topaz Drive that day. They're not the only ones. Tuesday afternoon. And I seen this, van, this SUV driving around over there in that court. I was like, well, he's lost. Pamela Gaines didn't think a thing of it until her dog Riley started barking. And I went and see what he was barking at, and this guy was walking up to my front door. And he was almost just right at my step. And he looked up and seen me, he goes, oh, no, never mind. And he took off. 20 minutes later, she read a social media post about what happened to Cindy Godsey's granddaughter and her friend. And I said, oh, my God, that, that fits that description of that guy. Now neighbors like Gaines and Godsey are on high alert. I have five grandchildren. And it bothers me very much. Cindy Godsey didn't call police. So I just felt I didn't have enough information. But her gut fears the worst. I think it's somebody trying to grab kids. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Emily, thank you.